my honor and privilege to welcome Sarah Weddington to Protect Families, Protect Choices. You know, it is such fun to celebrate. I support for a I'm a regular volunteer and I wanted to really support the Roe vs. Wade celebration and your ceremony. <laughs> And then uh, Obama put out a statement that talked about Roe versus Wade and the importance of women being able to make their own choices. And I loved that. And here we are celebrating your victory. You know, 48, there were people worried about you all over the country. Uh, and you won it. And that was an overwhelming win. You should clap for yourselves. That was fabulous. Um, looking at those issues, I found Griswold versus Connecticut. You remember Estelle Griswold and her doctor, Lee Buxton, who gave a contraceptive device to a married couple in New Haven, Connecticut where it was illegal for people to use contraception. So they were arrested, prosecuted, and convicted as accomplices to the crime of the use of a contraceptive device. <laughs> and that went to the US Supreme Court. 1965, the court ruled there was a right of privacy that included whether or not to use a contraceptive. It was over at the Capitol on January 22, 1973, 36 years ago yesterday. The phone rang. One of my assistants answered the phone, and a reporter said from the New York Times, does Miss Weddington have a comment today about Roe versus Wade? And my assistant said, should she? <laughs> And the reporter said it was decided today. And my assistant said, how was it decided? <laughs> and the words came back. She won it seven to two. It was fabulous. But when you win in the Supreme Court, you win because lots of people helped. And when you win 48, you win because there is a coalition and lots of people are helping. So we're here to celebrate all of you and what you have done and that truly together you have changed the world. Thank you.